is Naomi and today is Black History, Black History Day 3. Today we're going to be talking about Madam C.J. Walker or Sarah Breedlove. Who is Sarah Breedlove and why do we speak about her today? What does she contribute to the hair industry? And hair story. So if you don't know who Madam C.J. Walker is, Madam C.J. Walker is the first African American or American self-made, self-made millionaire, okay? She had those coins we knew what they were, okay? She had those coins before we called them coins. <laughs> At one point in time, she began to lose her own hair and due to her hair loss, she prayed. She was like, Jesus, I need you to help me. You know what Jesus did? He came in clutch as he always does. He answered her prayer and a dream. A black man sent her the formula for her well-known hair products. And then you know what she did? <laughs> she made coins. So her friends and family members were like, oh my gosh, your hair was thin, now it's thick, girl, how can I get in on this? And she was like, oh, well, I'll sell it to you, like, I'll give it to you, and da 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 like, and they were like, oh, well, you should sell it, you should make those coins, and she was like, I should, shouldn't I? So she did, but not only did she sell it, she sold it like any good business person would. She had other people selling it for her. She went door to door herself. Her husband happened to be in marketing. His name was Charles Joseph Walker, CJ Walker, Madam CJ Walker. Now you know where she got her name from. He thought it was gonna be more interesting if she was named, you know, Madam CJ Walker versus Sarah Breedlove. Did I just say sold it? Wow, okay. Sold, I meant sold. Chill on me, for real. Chill on me on my edges today because we, we trying, but we just, all right, some other interesting things about Madam C.J. Walker. She was born on a plantation, on a plantation. She was also the first person, very first, F-I-R-S-T, first person in her family to be born a free person, okay? So she was born on a plantation, but she was not born a slave. Throughout her life, she provided scholarships to children to ascend, ascend, attend college. Not only did she do that, she was very involved with black activist situation type things, funding them quietly. This quote, <laughs> and I read, I'm not merely satisfied in making money for myself, for I am endeavoring to provide employment for hundreds of women of my race, thousands. She employed thousands. The main thing that I take away from this is that our goals are only a fraction of what God is going to provide us. Like, she only wanted to employ hundreds. If you look at Madam C.J. Walker and you read up on her, you will realize that she employed thousands. So while I'm trying to say to you guys, this Black History Month, this very good Sunday, okay, this 3rd of February, is that wherever you're going, whatever you're trying to accomplish, just know that God's going to meet you there and he's going to meet you there times three. That's just how that works.